guys welcome back to carry me as corner i am back it's april 10th as i film this little intro to this video this is hashtag wacky five challenge hosted by kelly santi designs and i completely forgot to bring my camera sd card i don't film on my phone i use my canon camera and i wasn't able to upload the video and edit it so I am going to show you the unboxing of the items that were sent to me by my wonderful partner Elsa, Elsa the Bargain Hunting Crafter. If you haven't seen the wonderful project she made using the items, the five items I sent her, make sure to check it out. I'll put all the links of the wonderful participants for this collaboration. So we are going to look at the pre-recorded video of my unboxing of the items that Elsa sent me and you'll also see a video of what I did and what I created. So let's get to it. Hi guys, welcome back to Karamia's Corner. I am back with some happy mail. How adorable is this package? This special mail comes from Elsa the Bargain Hunting Crafter. And look at this sticker. It says, warning, opening this package will cost extreme happiness. I'm so excited. So Elsa and I have an upcoming swap with a collaboration with Kelly Santi Designs. It's called Five Wacky Item Challenge. I'm not sure if this is what's in here, but I am so curious to see. I hope I don't cut anything in there. This is the cutest little bag I've seen. I love the color too. Okay. Oh my gosh, what are these? What is this? Oh my gosh, is this the five items? Oh my gosh, I think this is it. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. So this is for our challenge for the five wacky items. This is awesome. Look at what she sent me. So in this pouch, she sent me a puzzle piece and again all these items we have to use in any art form that we'd like it can be journaling collaging anything crafting remember this that's so cool we have a little chipboard here looks like it has some flower a flower print i think reminds me of a poker chip but that's really cool we have some dominoes and another little playing piece here. What an awesome five items. I'm excited to play with this. And I will reveal soon what I will be making with these five wacky items. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I am back. We have our five items from Elsa. And Kelly had said that we can use it for any type of art project that we would like. I'm a journal maker, so when I was looking at this, it reminded me of art projects, mixed media art projects, of found objects. And I'm thinking I want to make a um, little piece, mixed media piece for a journal cover. So I'm going to show you how I will be using these pieces uh, using this and some of my colored pencils and pencils in the mix. And what I'm going to be doing is first creating a base for my journal cover and I will be creating some imprints of these items. So let's see if that works. It's an old trick that my art teacher had shown us in grade school and it's called shading. So basically you would get an item that would have some texture. You would put it underneath your piece of paper and you would use your pencil or crayon to make an imprint. So I'm going to start off by planning how big am I going to make this cover and also which pieces and how am I going to put and incorporate all of these in the mix. I want to make somewhat of a little background before I put my final mixed media piece here on the front. So I'm going to fold this in half because the size of the cover will be about this big. That way I have a guide while we're doing this of how far I should go when I am doing my shading. And then 
we will decide what else. I'm not going to be too worried about putting an imprint in the middle because that piece is going to be covered. We're going to be working on the borders and just filling up this empty space. And I'm trying to think what to start with. So let's start maybe with the number two. And I'm going to grab my pencil. There's my pencil. I'm going to lay it underneath the sheet, just randomly laying that. And then let's see if this works. I'll be playing some music and then we shall just uh, start creating here using some of these pieces to create an imprint of our found objects and then add a mixed media piece that creates dimension on the top. Maybe do some painting. Who knows? Let's just go with the flow. So let's get started.
Here is a closer look of our imprinted found objects using our color pencils and pencil. We have our puzzle pieces, our tile with the number two and the round little coin there with the floral print. It's created a collage, a little grungy with the look. I've also created a assemblage here where I've glued the objects on top of some cardboard. And before I do that, I'll be working also with these other two pieces in just a sec. I wanted to add the packaging she sent me to add some color on our page or cover. So I'll be placing that there, but before I do that, I was thinking I would paint this white. I don't have white acrylic paint, but I will be using some white acrylic gesso. So let me grab a piece of paper. I'm just going to set this up here. I'm going to start painting and let it dry and add it to our cover. Alright guys, I have completed my found objects junk journal cover here. It's a closer look of what it looks like and I'll show you a wider view up top right here so you can see the whole cover. So this is a paper bag that I have put on top of a flyer, cardboard flyer, and I've attached our collage of our found objects underneath so you see some of those colors there. I've also painted my glued assemblage pieces with white and added some of that pink color on the back. I've used the sentiment also that she's given me remember this and kept the domino the way it is just to be a reminder of some of the things that maybe we've lost and found. And so this is what the cover looks like. I had so much fun doing this Wacky 5 challenge. Thanks again to Kelly. Uh, make sure to check out all the participants. I'll link them all down below. Thanks again for watching. Karamia's Corner. See you next time. Bye.